In this video, we're going to be upgrading the taillights on the FRS. Now, in my opinion, the stock lights that come on these cars are the worst part of the whole car aesthetically. They just look like really cheap aftermarket lights. So uh, we ended up going with these. These are the Buddy Club V2. If you want to check those out, I'll put a link for them. Um, but these are sequential taillights. So when the turn signal goes, it's like really cool effect. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I actually put one of these in the car yesterday uh, just to see if there was going to be any hiccups with the installation. There was one little issue with the wiring, which I'll show you how to work out. But other than that, super high quality. They come with um, uh, full color picture instructions, which is really nice to have. And then also they include this little module for the turn signals because we're going from halogen turn signals to LEDs. Uh, this just prevents them from hyper flashing. So we'll show you how to put that in. And uh, yeah, I'm just really excited to actually start working on this car this year. This is gonna be the year for the FRS. We have tons of plans for it as far as mods and things that we wanna do. So let's get right into this installation. Let's do it. So let's start by installing this flasher module for the turn signals. Now, believe it or not, this is actually like the hardest part of this whole process, just because it's in a really tight space where you don't have a lot of leverage to get it out. So I'll show you how to take this apart and we'll put this in. So first we just need to remove this cover here and then we'll get access to the screws underneath. Let's pry that up and get it out of the way. So once you've got that cover off, there's a couple Phillips screws. There's one here, here, and then there's one on the other side of the steering wheel. Go ahead and remove those. And then that's gonna give us access to where the flasher module is. So with those three screws taken out, you're just gonna pull straight out on this bottom part of the plastic trim, just like this, very carefully. Get that out of the way. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky because the flasher module is inside of this hole here and the instructions just say to reach your hand in there. But if you've got an adult size hand, uh, like I do, what I found is uh, removing this metal plate here gave me a, a little bit more room to reach in through the back. So go ahead and take that off. It's just held in with two 10 millimeter bolts. And so since you won't really be able to see what you're doing in there, you want to take a look at the new one and it's just got this one clip on the top. So you want to feel around for that, pull the old one out and then just put this one in its place. So with the new flasher thing installed, I'm just going to put the key in and I'm just going to confirm that the turn signals work. Perfect. So like I was saying earlier in the video, there was a little kind of issue with the wiring, not really an issue, it's just that uh, these lights, and I don't know if these are the wrong ones, but these are wired for the Japanese and European cars. And for whatever reason, the running lights are switched with the turn signals. So what we need to do is repin them. It's not as scary as it sounds. I'll show you exactly how to do that in case you live in North America and you wanna get these lights. So looking at the back side of this wiring harness, basically we need to swap the red wire with the white one. And so there's just a little piece of plastic here on the back that you can take out um, to get that out of the way. And what you do is you wanna basically pull on one wire with your finger. And then on the back side, there's a little tab. You're gonna use a very small screwdriver to release uh, that tab. Just be patient with it. They're kind of delicate and uh, kind of takes a little while to get the hang of it, but uh, just be careful with it. So one last little note here on the back is that uh, this switch right here is to toggle on and off the sequential feature. So let's say you just wanted these to work like standard uh, turn signals. That's what that switch does. But other than that, there's only four screws total that hold these in. Let's put these in the car. Once you have the carpeting out of the way, just use an eight millimeter deep well socket to remove the four nuts on the back side of the light. So while I swap out this other light, I just want to let you guys know that I actually have a new YouTube channel that I'm working on. 
Um, it's a channel about how to start and grow YouTube channels. And uh, it's something that I've been really passionate about, something that I've wanted to do for a long time. It's just that uh, the content is so different from what I'm doing on here with the car stuff that it didn't make sense to have it all together. So that's why I'm keeping that on its own separate channel, but I definitely invite you guys to check it out. Um, I actually wasn't sure whether or not I was gonna pro cross promote it on here, uh, just because it's so different. There's not gonna be any car stuff or anything like that on the other channel. It's strictly just like educational stuff for those of you who are looking to grow a YouTube channel of your own. So the channel is called Static, and the slogan is helping you make sense of the noise on YouTube. And so yeah, I'll leave a link for it. If you wanna subscribe, I appreciate that. But uh, guys, I just ask that you only subscribe if you're genuinely curious about uh, the stuff on YouTube because it is very informational, very, uh, I guess, granular, you could say. And uh, you're not gonna get a lot out of it unless you're a YouTuber, I guess that's what I'm trying to say with that. But uh, the link is down below if you wanna look at that. Now, as far as this FRS goes, like I was saying, we do have a lot of plans for this car. Uh, the next big thing that we want to do is an exhaust, so definitely open to your guys' suggestions. Uh, we want something kind of loud, but not like the raspy sound. I know with this engine in particular, the FA20, a lot of the exhausts, unfortunately, kind of just sound annoying. So uh, we want to improve the performance, add a little bit of sound, but uh, nothing like really over the top. And if you guys have any other suggestions for mods that you want to see on this car, feel free to leave a comment below and we will look into those as well. So this is the one that I just repinned on camera. I'm actually gonna plug it in really quick and just make sure that everything works before I um, put all these nuts back in, so. Well, there you have it. I'm really happy with how these look, and now I'm even more excited to do more mods on this car. Uh, maybe we can get Katie to come in some of these videos and we can do some projects together on her car. I think that'd be fun, but uh, yeah. Uh, the link for these lights will be down below as well as all the tools that you need to install them. Um, this is not a sponsored video. We actually paid full price for these and they were kind of expensive. So maybe in the future we can pick up some FRS sponsors for the channel. That might be fun. But uh, anyway, the links are down below. The link to my new channel is down below if you want to learn more about YouTube. Check that out. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this install and I'll see you guys in the next video.